Welcome to day two of my 28 day shredded ab challenge. All right, today what you guys are going to be doing is two different exercises and they're gonna focus on our obliques and also on that lower part of the belly. Okay, so first thing is going to be 15 per side, side V crunches. So I'm gonna show you both the beginner option and then the more advanced. Then from there, you guys are going to go right into toe reach pulses. And you're going to do 30 reps of that. So you're going to alternate between those two. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate those for you first. And then I will do the exercises so you can either do them with me or you can just look at the demonstrations and do them on your own. All right, I will see you back soon. All right, you guys, so you're going to start off with that side V crunch, side V up crunch. So for a beginner, what you're going to do is you're basically going to Come down on your elbow, just like this. So you wanna make sure that that elbow is right underneath the shoulder. And you don't wanna hyper extend or extend it like this or lean like this because you're gonna hurt the shoulder. You wanna make sure that it's in alignment with the elbow, shoulder, and your right ear or left ear. Okay, so beginner, you're gonna stay on, you're gonna keep your knees bent and you're gonna be at a pretty close to a 45 degree angle, bringing that elbow up behind and then you're just gonna crunch, come back down. Crunch, come back down, okay? So it's not pulling it forward, you're coming up to the side. So you're gonna do 15 on that side and then switch 15 on the other side. Now for the more advanced option, you're gonna extend those legs out straight, okay? Keeping that body about 45 degree angle. You don't want it right here, you want it kind of more at an angle. Like, just imagine a V. So, from that V position, you're going to bring that arm up and you're going to reach for the toes, okay? Up and down, up and down. Now, you don't want to overextend the arm, keeping it right in alignment with that shoulder, okay? So, here and back down. So, you're going to do 15 and then switch. So, that's the more advanced option. Okay, so now for our... Um, toe reaches, you're going to basically come over here, let me adjust this so you can see, you're going to take the feet up, flexing those toes towards you, okay, and then from here, you come up with the, the hands and the fingers are just going to reach up towards the toe, we're going to do our 30 pulses non-stop, okay, so you're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, so that's what I want you guys to do. If it hurts your neck, for some of you that might bother your neck, you can just relax the hand on the back of the head and just pulse up for 15, supporting that head with the hand, and then switch and do the other side for 15, okay? If you're doing it more beginner or it's too hard to keep your legs up like that, maybe it hurts your lower back, you can always keep the knees bent and then you're basically gonna relax that hand behind the head and then you're just reaching up to the roof or the ceiling. And then you'll switch and do 15 on this side, just making sure that you get to your 30. All right, so that is the demonstration of the exercises. And now I'm gonna go ahead and go into the workout with you. So here I'm showing you the modified version on your elbow and you're squeezing your knees towards your elbow making sure that your arm is in alignment with your shoulder all the way up to your ear. And you wanna squeeze, and now we're gonna switch over to that other side. Now I'm gonna show you the more um, advanced option with the straight legs, and you're reaching that hand towards the toes. And remember you're in that V shape formation and again focus on the alignment of elbow shoulder ear and you're going to do 15 and then we're going to turn over and going right into those toe pulse reaches so we're going for 30 and you want to make sure those toes are pointing down towards you 
and you're just pulsing up, 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 keeping it short and trying to keep the shoulders off the floor. All right, we're done with set one. Now we're gonna flip it over and we're going right into set two. So I'm gonna do the start with the modified on this side. Now you don't have to do that. You can do either modified the whole way through or you can do the more advanced option. That's totally up to you. But I just want to show different options. And you might notice that one side is a little bit either tighter or harder to do and that's normal. You just probably need to maybe foam roll or stretch a little bit more on that side. Or maybe start with your weaker side on all exercises. Now this is the more advanced option, evening out both sides, going for 15. Filling it right there in those obliques. Okay, so we got our second set of pulses and go. Now here I'm gonna demonstrate with one hand behind the head, going for 15 pulses. This way you're supporting that neck and the head in case you have neck issues. And then we're switching and doing the other 15 on the other side. So same movement, just putting a little bit more support in that upper body. All right, I'm starting to fill them right here. <laughs> and here we go, last set of those V-ups on the side, going with that more advanced option again. Now here you might start getting a little bit tired and rolling back. Make sure to adjust yourself and keep yourself on that hip and squeezing more towards the obliques. And try to twist your body forward so you're hitting that side ab. Now I'm gonna show you the modified version again. There you if you're starting to get tired, you can always go from that advanced to the modified. Just make sure you focus on form and don't get sloppy. Right, last set of the pulses, toe, toe reach pulses. Now I'm gonna show you the modified version, which you're just gonna raise those hands up towards the ceiling. And then now we're back to our more advanced reaching both fingertips towards the toes. And finishing off with that, with the toe pulse reaches, and now we are done. All right, you guys, I will see you for day number three. Enjoy, and please, again, comment down below and let me know that you guys completed today's challenge and how it felt. Have a good day. See you tomorrow.